If you're trying to choose the best podcast software for editing your podcast, you've come to the right place. On this video, we're going to go through all the options and let you know the pros and cons of each, which one might suit you. Choosing the right podcast software is tricky for anyone because there's a fair few options out there. But on this video, I'm going to cut it down, take you through a few of the best options or my favorite options, I should say, and let you know which ones I'd recommend you choose based on what, you know, what options, what level you're at. So first of all, let's think about the types of podcast software out there for editing. So first of all, we've got the professional type packages. So there's plenty out there, like we've got Adobe Audition, we've got um, we've got Pro Tools, we've got a few different ones like that. Now, I would only go to these options if you really want the power features. So if you're doing quite complex podcasts, uh, you know, you've got five or six different interviews, you're cutting them all up, you're putting in layers of music, uh, you're doing a fair bit of post-production in terms of noise reduction, compression, equalization, all that kind of stuff. That is the only reason, really, you need to start paying for the power tools like Adobe Audition or Pro Tools or the like. Now, we use Audition. So we use Adobe Audition in the studio here. That's what we use to edit our podcasts more often than not, partly because we've got to know it. So Matthew here is an, an Audition ninja. He just knows that thing back to front. And I use it a lot as well. So it's just something we know, something we like. Audition, you know, even... Uh, if you're working on a simple podcast, the benefits of it really are its workflow. You can set up, you know, rules in there. You can set up templates. You can set up things in there that make it much quicker and easier for you to produce a podcast week in, week out. But the downside is the cost, obviously. Auditions costing something like 20 to $25 per month. So on a recurring basis to use. A lot of the other editing packages out there are even more. So you've got to weigh up whether it's worth the cost for you, whether you're going to use all those features. The other end of the spectrum is the free software. So you get something like Audacity. Now, Audacity is a great tool. It's amazing considering it costs absolutely nothing. It's got lots of features in there, tons of stuff. It's got pretty much everything that 99% of podcasters need. I mean, it's got your EQ, your compression, your hard limiting, all that stuff, your noise reduction. Audacity can do pretty much all of that. The downside of it really is the interface is pretty clunky these days. It looks a bit outdated. It's not as nice to work with. The workflow is not as good. You can't set up as many automations and templates and things like that. There are ways, but it tends to take a little bit of hacking around to figure out a way to do it with Audacity. So Audacity is maybe not the, the best option in terms of making things quick and easy, but it isn't that hard to learn. It's free, costs absolutely nothing, and it'll do pretty much everything you need. So Audacity is definitely an option out there if that's if that sounds like it'll suit you, if you're budget conscious and you don't mind um, putting up with something that's not quite as nice to use uh, in exchange for freeness. <laughs> now, there are a couple of options in between. So let's go to our website option. So our tool, actually, Alitu. Now, Alitu is designed to be somewhere in between here. It is at a cost, so $28 per month, about the same as Adobe Audition, but it takes a lot of the work off your hands, so it automates quite a lot of it. All you do is upload your recording to the website, so you drag in your recording, or more, you can upload two or three or four, you drag them into Alitu, Alitu processes them automatically, so it actually does the, the noise reduction, the EQ, the compression, all that kind of stuff. It makes it sound good and then puts it into an editing window for you. Now, it's an editor that's custom built for podcasters. So it's designed to help you with the top and tail, you know, make sure the start and the end is set up well. It's designed to help you with just cutting out simple mistakes. So you can just drag and drop over the, the timeline and it lets you edit that stuff out. And then it's got the episode builder. So you can rearrange the clips, you can bring in adverts, you can bring in listener call-ins, you can move them around and it'll automatically add your intro and your outro music as well. So you can have default intro and outro music that always is added to every single episode. Now that's something that you have to bring in manually each time if you're using something like Audition or Audacity. So really Alitu is set up to just work with podcasters, the exact process that we think that podcasters tend to go through. Obviously, the downside of that is that it's a little bit more limited. So you'll work within the templates that Alitu gives you. 
So, for example, right now, actually, we cannot put in a clip before the music. We're building that in in the next couple of months, but that is something people asked for because that's a template they want. Now, Alitu works with certain templates and we're adding more every uh, every month, but, you know, there are some limitations. But the benefit of that, the limitations make it simpler, quicker, easier. So if you don't want to worry about the tech, if you just want it handled for you as quickly and easily as possible, a nice interface to work with, and you don't mind paying a little bit to get that, then Alitu could be the answer for you. That is A-L-I-T-U dot com, A-L-I-T-U dot com. You can see a demo of how it works on the Alitu front page if you go to that URL. Now, finally, there are a couple of tools that are worth mentioning that are kind of in the mid-range as well. You've got two called Reaper and Hindenburg. So Reaper is a DAW, they call it a digital audio workstation, kind of like uh, Audacity or Edition, similar, but it's lower cost. So Reaper is a halfway house between Audacity and Audition. It's not as fully featured as Audition. It doesn't work quite as nicely. It doesn't help with your workflows quite as much. But you pay a little bit for Reaper. It's a lot cheaper than Audition. um, And you get a fair few of those features. It's definitely a step up from Audacity, for example. Really the same with Hindenburg as well. Now, Hindenburg is actually kind of a step towards the Alitu model. Hindenburg is definitely focused a little bit more towards people who are doing voice programs like podcasting. So it takes out, strips out a lot of the really kind of power features that you'd get in Audition or Audacity and really just gives you what you would need for something like a podcast. Again, the limitation is that, well, the limitation is the limitations. It takes away some of your flexibility um, and some people think that it's not quite as powerful as they need, but for a lot of people it is. So it might be worth checking out Hindenburg if you want that kind of halfway house. You want software on your computer to do it with. You want those editing features um, and you're still willing to do a bit of it yourself. So again, I would say Hindenburg and Alitu, similar cost, similar quality, Alitu more automated, more, you know, hands off. I don't want to worry about the tech. Just let Alitu handle it and get a bit of help with editing, stuff like that. Hindenburg, you do want to do a bit more yourself, um, similar cost, and you want just a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more power. So that's when you might go with Hindenburg. So I hope that explains the differences between them all. But that is really, for me, that is the main range of podcast software that you might want to use to work with your podcast right now. And again, there are plenty more packages out there that you can use for podcast editing. But again, that's the ones I have experience with that I know well. And from just knowing the podcast industry, the ones that I know people use the most. So I hope that helped you out. Again, if you want to check out uh, these full options, get another summary of them, really get in depth on this, you can go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash editing software and that'll take you to our article which summarizes all these different packages will take you to you know the sales pages for them if you don't mind using those links it does give us a little bit of affiliate commission helps us pay for uh, the costs of doing this kind of stuff Uh, we would appreciate that so if you don't mind doing that that would be great that's over at thepodcasthost.com forward slash editing software Otherwise, check us out on thepodcasthost.com for all of our resources, all of our help to run a successful podcast. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video.